Here is absolutely everything that I have found after two months of driving the Hyundai i10. So one of the first features I found with this car when I first started driving was that the sound actually turns down automatically as soon as you reverse the car. As you can see here, the car's uh, currently running. We've got a podcast going. Let's put it into reverse. And as you can hear from that, it has automatically turned itself down. I just think that's a really nifty little feature so that it doesn't really distract you when you're driving and it automatically turns down so you can focus more on reversing and seeing what's around you. And I think that's a really cool feature. So another thing I found when driving this car is that the brakes are really, really sharp. And it took me a little while to get used to just how sharp the brakes are compared to some of the other cars that I've driven before. One thing that kind of took me off guard with this car is that you can just go out the car, you can lock the car and not have to turn the lights off because they turn off automatically. And same when you unlock the car, they turn on automatically. And that's something that I'm not really used to with cars, but it's quite a nice feature and it saves the hassle of turning them on and turning them off. But it did take me a little while to get used to it because it felt so unnatural. So this car, similar to the Vauxhall Aguila, which I made another video on, is a five-seater car. And one handy little thing for the back seat is that down here you get a little uh, charging port where you can plug in a charger and charge your phone for the back seat, as well as two here and another one at the front for the driver and passenger at the front. So another really cool feature about this car is that just here where it says trip, if you press that and look just there, every time I click it, it tells you a little bit more information about the car, such as fuel, how many miles you got left on fuel, and just other really cool information on the car. And in that same spot, when you're driving, it actually tells you what gear to get into. And sometimes it will pop up if there's an icy road warning, which I think is a really handy feature for a lot of new drivers. Another really nice thing about this car that I didn't really have to get used to, but similar to the Vauxhall Aguila, is that the steering in this car is super, super light. I can just cruise along the road and not really have to think too much about the steering other than where I'm going, obviously, because it is just such a nice car to drive. One thing I found quite surprising about this car is that the suspension is actually really, really good. And that similar to the Tesla, you don't actually feel any bumps in this car. Now, I don't know if this is just my personal experience, but if you've had this experience as well, where the suspension is really good in the uh, Hyundai i10 and you don't feel the bumps either, let me know in the comments below. I definitely think that the Hyundai i10 is definitely high on my list of some of the most comfortable cars I've driven. Another feature that I really, really like about the car has to do with the wheel. I love the fact that there are volume bottoms on the side and answer call cool and decline call cool on the steering wheel as well. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that those are some of my favourite features to have on steering wheels and cars. And if you haven't seen them, definitely go check those out. Another thing that I found myself using quite a lot in this car is actually the cruise control. And now I, I think I could talk quite a lot about it in this video, but I think I'm going to save it for another video. So maybe stay tuned and we'll make a whole video on cruise control on the Hyundai i10. Now with this being a sporty little one litre car, this car can definitely go quite quick. I believe the 0-60 on this car is around 11.7 to 14 seconds, which isn't the fastest, but for this car you can definitely feel the speed in it. I know I've been driving down the road sometimes, you hit the 60 and you can just feel the speed in this car because it is such a small car and yet it's got such a big, almost engine to it. It doesn't have a big engine, but you can kind of feel the power behind the car. So that's going to be the end of the video today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed making it and I'll catch you in the next one.